Hi guys, so long time no talk. Um, I, if you guys probably did notice, I did take a small, 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 tiny little break from doing videos. Um, but it was only like a week. So, but in reality, I have not filmed a video in about a month. I took about a month break and it was much, ne much like I needed it. I really needed it, and um, I enjoyed every second of it. But anyway, before I get into this week's video, um, this week, now we're no, only uploading once a week. I'm kind of excited about the new schedule. But anyway, before I get into this week's video, I just want to address something that has been, like, I mentioned it a few times, and it's just everyone's asking questions, and everyone is giving me so many good comments. I just want to address it one time when I brought up quitting YouTube. I did bring up quitting and I did kind of say that I'm going to, but I want to reiterate that guys, I am not, do not worry, I'm not quitting right now. Um, I said by, my goal is to make videos for another year, so you can expect videos until next December. Um, I am going to slowly weed out, but not yet, so you don't have to worry. I've been getting so many people saying like, no, don't leave. Um, but I'm not leaving yet, I promise. And if things get better, my channel picks up, and some of the drama that was happening did, like goes away, then I might continue more than a year. I don't know. It's really up in the air right now. But I just want to say, don't worry. I'm not going anywhere yet, and I will never delete my channel. Don't worry. Unless it became like a thing for like work, or I needed to delete it. But um, where I'm standing right now, I'm going to keep my channel up. I will always be available to contact. Videos will still be here, so don't worry. Even when I do stop, um, they'll still be here. Don't, don't worry. That's the number one question I've been getting. Um, number two is I'm not just going to up and quit. I promise. I'm not. Um, one of my favorite YouTubers actually one day just stopped, deleted her channel, deleted all social media, I, and I will never do that. I feel like I think it's so irresponsible when you YouTubers just leave and they don't even say goodbye. So don't worry. You guys will get a fair, fair, um, like, fair warning if slash when I do decide to go out for good. But anyway, don't worry about that. Um... I took a break, like I said, I needed it, I'm um, just going to continue doing what I was doing and hopefully everything will get right back to normal. There's just been um, more drama in the AuthorTube community than I ever thought and going into making videos I thought this would, it would be like a really fun and healthy environment and I didn't realize how many trolls were behind the scenes and uh, some people's agendas and it's just not what I thought and not something I really want to be around so that was one aspect but you know what if you guys it's not your guys fault so I'm not gonna like suddenly stop just because some people have an effed up mind cuz that's not fair so anyway don't worry about the whole quitting thing I say I said I will definitely be around for a while so yeah I just wanted to get that out there because I've been getting questions like every day like people saying don't leave don't leave and then to you to you guys who are saying like I understand why you're leaving I got some people saying like I understand you're not getting paid I understand to people who did say that thank you um my personal opinion is I don't think it's the right thing for me to be going into the workforce and maybe going into writing projects hopefully with people and like telling it about videos on the internet. So I just think that before, by the time I graduate, it'll be a good thing to maybe kind of keep private and keep off the internet. But that's not happening just yet. So let's get into today's video. Um, today's video is going to be answering a question. And the question was on my last video of my winter unboxing. And that question is from Pretty Words. Hi, Pretty Words. Um, it says, hey, Emma, I was wondering if you could do a video on books that have not only inspired you as a writer, but changed your life. That was a really, I kind of, I just got that question today. And I usually go answer my questions in like the order I got them. So this one usually wouldn't have made the cut, if that makes any sense. But I thought this question was so amazing. I like was like, I don't care about my order. I'm answering this right now. Um, I think it's such a deep, amazing question. Thank you, Pretty Words, so much for asking it. Books that changed my life. As you guys know, I'm not a huge reader, and most books that change my life are mine. Um, inspired you as a writer. Obviously, my first interaction with books was 
reading, not writing. So obviously I was reading books before I was writing them. Duh. Uh, so yeah, I was reading. So let's see, first inspired me. First, let's we're gonna go way back and we're gonna say the Goosebumps series. I started reading the Goosebumps books around six years old, seven years old. Um, it was to the point where like my dad would lie in bed with me and read them to me. And I wanna say I was in no, maybe second grade. I don't remember. But um that was very young and the Goosebump books was the first time that I read something and I remember my mom turned off the light and it was the book Ghost Camp. I know I can remember that. And she turned off the lights and I went to bed and I was up all freaking night. I was just like up like oh my god, oh my god. I was so petrified by that book. And that was the first time where I was like that's awesome. I, lo I just loved it. I love the feeling of being scared. I loved it. And that really inspired me to want to create that. I can't really articulate what I wanted to do at that point. But at that seven years old, I was like, I want to scare people with books. I want to do that too. That kind of, um, I don't know how I said it. Like that was my first inspiration to I want to, this is what I want to do someday. I want to write books and not only do I want to write them, I want to write books that are scary. And um, so yeah, that was my first time I was inspired by books, by a book. So one of the other books that I definitely think inspired me and I, oh, you know what, I can say changed my life is the book Suicide Notes. I always talk about this book and I actually ran across my copy like last month. I found it in my aunt's kitchen. And I was like, that book looks, that's mine. So I didn't grab it though. I should have I should have taken it back. I don't know why I didn't. Anyway, so the book Suicide Notes, um, it both inspired me and changed my life. Change your life is big, but I can say it did because it was the first time I saw mental illness that I was going through in books. Um, I didn't think it was done. I just saw like bullying. I saw a little bit of eating disorders in books, but I never saw suicide. I never saw self-harm. And the relationship, the main character... I don't remember his name. I want to say it was Josh. That was going to bug me. Hold on. I'm going to look up his name. Um, I want to say it was Josh. When you look up suicide notes and it's like, uh, oh, that's not, you get an actual one. Jeff, not Josh. Jeff. I was so close. Jeff. Um, Jeff, he had this friend in there, and there was a person that sa helped save the friend's life named Sam, and she was like that no matter what happens, Sam could save her, and I really related to that storyline because that's how I felt about my cousin, that no matter what happened, like, he could always save me, and it was that, that same feeling that I really connected with for that book, and I, it was the first time I realized this is being talked about. I could talk about this too. And it was a very life changing, kind of not career changing. I didn't have a career. I was 10 years old. But um, that moment when I was like, you know what? This is this is what I want to do. I want to, not only do I want to write scary things because I was into that, but I want to talk about the stuff that no one else talks about. And I think the girls came along shortly after that, my fragile girls. So that was a huge point for me that was inspiring and I can say changed my life. Other books, I um, Shutter Island definitely, that inspired me as a writer so much because after I, I saw the movie first, but I, after I saw the movie and read the book, all I was doing it, I was like, just like, I want to pull off a plot twist like that. I want to do that. I want to do that. And it wasn't just, I want to do it. It was, I want to do it right. And it was kind of like a brain challenge, like a little brain quiz for me. Like, am I able to do this? Will I be able to do this? Um, I just admired Dennis Lehane so much. I just kept thinking, um, is this in my future? Like, am I going to be able to write a plot twist like that? Am I going to be able to just turn an audience upside down? I remember watching, you should be like, what just happened? And I wanted to have that. I just wanted to do that so bad. I wanted to give that feeling so, so bad. And that was the first time that I saw that. And it changed, um, I would say it changed my life, but it com completely changed my perspective because it wanted, it It made me want to change all my endings for books. So it didn't want, it wanted, I'm trying to figure out how to word this and it's kind of tricky. 
I wanted people, like, originally I wanted people just to end my book and be, like, scared. After that, I wanted people to end my book. Of course, the air conditioner goes on. I wanted people to end my book and be, like, what just, what the, f and go back and reread it. And that was the moment when I read that book. And, um, I want to say Guilty of Love came around two years later. Two years? Another book that I say inspired me as a writer and probably changed my life is the book Pet Cemetery. That's my one of my all-time favorite books. Um, that book kind of inspired me in a way that well, all of Stephen King's books do this. I feel like it was Pet Cemetery and it. I was always kind of afraid to show things because I was like, I'm a, and this is like the whole thing what goes back, I can talk about this another time about I'm a girl and sometimes, obviously, I'm a girl. As a female, sometimes when I write dark things, people are kind of taken off by it. They're like, a girl shouldn't be writing that, blah, 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 and it's really sexist. But, obviously Stephen King's a guy, but he crossed the lines with killing children, with Gage's death in Pet Cemetery and Georgie's death in It, and he, there were lines that he crossed and he crossed very well, and he did it very, very, very tastefully, and, um, in a way that when I read it, I was like, if he can do that, I think I can too, and I had written Vivian's Death in um, Lost in the Halls before I read these books, but it made me go back to it, and Gage's death in Pet Sematary is one of my all-time favorite death scenes of all time, ever, book, movie, anything. I love that scene, and the same with Georgie, um, in it but yeah I could say it definitely changed that for me because it made me feel like not so afraid of it like I'd be a little bit afraid of having like a child's death in a book because I was like that's just wrong I shouldn't do that and after reading that I felt like it was more okay and um he definitely crossed lines that made me feel more comfortable that it was all right although I don't think I could ever kill a pet off Church and Cujo they did die I don't think I could ever do that, but those were some of lines that I read for him, and I was like, you know what, it's okay, and I've heard people saying that um, Pet Cemetery was like the scariest book they've ever read, and it was his all-time scariest. I don't personally think Pet Cemetery was that scary, it was just one that stuck with me as a really good story, and um, yeah, I'm trying to think of any other books. I think the only other book I can say inspired me as a writer and changed my life in a way would be Carrie, of course Stephen King again, and that would be because he crossed another line as having a woman horror figure, and especially for the time it came out, I think that was so, so, so impressive, and it really inspired me to want to bring more, f obviously I did before I even knew of Carrie, but I want to bring more females into the horror scene. So yeah, those were the books that inspired my writing and changed my life in a way. Like I said, I'm not a huge reader, but those are some books that always stuck with me and will all like they'll never go away. Those books are my all-time favorites. So thank you so much, Pretty Words, for asking that question. It was an amazing question, and thank you guys for supporting me as I kind of went back and forth a bit continuing. But anyway, I am here and I'm back, so definitely leave your questions. Um, I have a lot of exciting stuff coming up that I just, I'm very, I'm really can't wait for you guys to go on this journey with me and see what's coming in the next few months because it's going to be exciting. Um, but yeah, definitely leave your questions down below, what you want to know, video suggestions, and I will talk to you guys next Wednesday. Bye!